What's good guys, Left First here, and today we're going to do a Beyblade battle between Orb Aegis Outer Quest versus all the Chosy attack types, and there is actually a surprising amount of Chosy attack types. We have six Chosy attack types. Of course, we have Shadow Amaterios, Zero uh, Extreme, then we got Bloody Longinus, 13 Jolts, Winning Valkyrie, 12 Volcanic, uh, Buster Excalibur, 1 Dash Sword. That is a really bad name. Why did they name this driver Sword? I mean, I know it has a sword going through it, but like, mm, why, why did they name it? It's such a bad name. I do not like that name at all. Anyway, the next part, or the next uh, Beyblade we have is Vice Leopard, 12, um... I think this is the left frame destroy. And finally, of course, we have the newest attack type Beyblade, Chosy Valkyrie Zenith Evolution. Probably the best Chosy attack type Bey out of all these Beyblades. And also, why do so many attack type Beyblades have the 12 frame? Like, that just bothers me. The 12 frame is horrible. I hate it. Anyway, see, so yeah, let's get this battle started. I'm doing Orb Ages versus all these Bays. And I decided to do this battle just because I really wanted to test out the Orb Aegis' driver, the quest driver, because it's it's just like such a funky driver. I love it. It's so, it's so bad, but it's just so fun to watch and it's so interesting. It like performs so differently than other drivers, I would say. Like it has, to put in perspective, this driver has less stamina than the extreme driver. And that is just super sad. Anyway, let's get this battle started. Which one should we start with? I'm gonna start from worst to best in my opinion. So let's put these in order. I definitely think Chosy Valkyrie is probably the best out of all these Chosy Bays. And then I would say, I think Buster Excalibur is probably the second best, then the third best would have to be, is it, I, mm, I think it's a tie between Shadow Amaterios and Bloody Longness. Bloody Longness is pretty good, but I'm going to put him behind Shadow Amaterios. Then I'm going to say Winning Valkyrie, and finally, uh, Vice Leopard. I mean, Vice Leopard isn't bad, I just think all these Beyblades are better than it. Anyway, let's get this battle started. We're going to do a few battles with all of them, and yeah, let's go. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go. Shoot. Here we go, three, two, one, go, two. Oh my goodness, look at the quest drive. It's so funky. I love it. It's just such a weird tip. It's so it's so great. Like it doesn't perform like any other tip in the game. As you can see, the tip just like sticks to like the side of the stadium and just stays there. And then attack tip goes and try to attack it and try to get like a stadium out, but they can't get a stadium out because it's like it's like a suction cup. It's such I don't know, it's such like a creative idea. I really like it. Alright, ready? Three, two, one, two. And the owner in the anime, I think his name is Evel. Evel is pretty savage. I mean, I know he sucks. Like, he only really had one battle in the anime so far, and he lost that one battle to Aiga, which is, it's kind of sad. But in the anime, they make the quest driver look so cool. It looks crazy. Like, um, the quest is just, like, on the side of the stadium. It's suction cupped in the anime, and the Beyblade hits it, and the, the orb it just, just goes crazy, and it's able to burst the other Beyblade, and it's just awesome. Anyway, let's do one more battle with Vice Leopard before we move on to the other Beyblade. Blades. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Two. Or Aegis. Three, two, one, go. Vice Leopard. I really want to try. I need to make um a video in the future where I just like test out the quest driver. Test it on like different layers, different combos. Cause like I've only really used it on the Orb Aegis layer. I'm kind of concerned or like I'm kind of um I kind of curious. I, I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. I'm kind of curious on uh, what the quest driver would do when it's on like an attack type layer. Would it be like really good for stationary attack or would it lose like a lot of stamina and not be good at all? I don't really know. Anyway, let's keep on going. Let's move, actually let's move on from Vice Leopard. Um, Vice Leopard obviously won all those battles because although I really like Orb Aegis and I think the quest driver is amazing, it's just not good at all. I haven't even, I don't think I've seen like one battle where it's one. Actually, that's a lie. It's one against like some attack types I battle against, but most of the time it just loses because it has horrible stamina. Moving on to the next Beyblade, we have Winning Valkyrie, 12 Volcanic. Let's see if Winning Valkyrie can, <laughs> if it can win. Hilarious puns. Ready? Three, two, one, shoot. Orb Aegis. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Winning Valkyrie with the rush launch. Winning, oh my gosh. I mean like, oh my. <laughs> Winning Valkyrie has crazy attack power, but it's not even able to like move Orb Aegis. Oh, Orb Aegis just won! Alright, I guess the Quest Driver has more stamina than the Volcanic Driver, which, I mean, it's something. The Volcanic Driver is, um, it's a really fun driver to use, just like the Quest Driver. Fun driver to use, not really that good. Let's do another battle between these two. 3, 2, 1, shoot! Orb Aegis, 3, 2, 1, go shoot! Winning Valkyrie, I mean, like, now Winning Valkyrie just kinda like, 
forgotten about, I would say. Like, everyone's all about that Chosy. Oh, we just bursted him. All right, that's great. All right, yeah, so everyone's about that Chosy Valkyrie hype right now. But honestly, winning Valkyrie, I didn't, like, think it had that good of a design. But when you actually look at it, its design's actually super nice. It's, like, super clean. It's super sleek. I really like it. It's definitely, like, uh, an upgraded to, like, God Valkyrie and all the Valkyries before. The thing I didn't like about it when it first came out, though, I thought it looks just, like, I mean, it's, like, what you would expect a Valkyrie with metal to look like. They didn't really upgrade anything on it. They kind of just, like, took Victory Valkyrie and they added metal to it. But, like, when I look back on it, it's a really good design thing. I really like it. And also, you know how uh, Chosy Valkyrie has, like, the gimmick where it's unburstable with the red wings when it comes out or whatever? Winning Valkyrie kind of has the same thing. It has the red wings, except it doesn't have the unburstable gimmick. It doesn't really have a gimmick at all. All right, so let's do one more battle between Orb Aegis and Winning Valkyrie before we move on. Ready? Three, two, one, shoot! Three, two, one, go. There is Orb Aegis, and there is Winning Valkyrie. Let's see who's gonna win this. Oh my goodness, he's just throwing. Oh my goodness! Orb Aegis is just getting destroyed by Winning Valkyrie. Although, Orb Aegis did manage to win one battle against it. Alright, let's move on to the next pay. And if you guys haven't noticed already, I'm trying to act a bit more like. I don't know more chill in these videos because like whenever I rewatch my videos I'm just like dude stop screaming so loud my ears are hurting just watching my own videos so like I'm gonna try not to yell as much and tell me if you guys want me to yell more if you guys like the style of this video more tell me in the comment section below do you want me to yell like I usually do in my videos or do you want more of chill videos like this like obviously I'm still not chill because I don't think I know how to be chill I'm just not a chill person I just talk like crazy but I feel like it's more chiller. Is that even a word? I'm chiller than I, were, <laughs> than I was before. I don't know, guys. All right, let's get this battle started. It's between Bloody Longness 12, or sorry, not 12, 13 Jolt versus Orb Aegis Outer um, Quest. So yeah, ready? Three, two, one, shoot. Here's Orb Aegis. Three, two, one, go. Shoot. Can it beat Bloody Longness? And again, Bloody Long. Oh my goodness, Bloody Longness was actually able to get like a crazy knockback there. But yeah, Bloody Longness, it's not my favorite longness. I feel like Nightmare Longness just has such... All right, so the winner of that battle was uh, Bloody Longness. Nightmare Longness just has a cooler design in my opinion, but Bloody Longness is a really pretty design too. It's just like, I don't know, it doesn't feel like an upgrade to Nightmare Longness. Am I the only one that thinks that? It looks more like an evolution to Lost Longness. It has more like, um, similarities to Lost Longness than Bloody Longness, in my opinion. All right, let's do one more battle between these two. Ready, three, two, shoot. There's Orb Aegis. Three, two, one, go, shoot. Bloody Longness with the Jolt Driver. And also, the Jolt Driver is a little disappointing. Like, come on, look at this. It's not even going that fast. It seems like it's slower than the Extreme Driver, and it has less stamina than the Extreme Driver. But although it does, I'm gonna say this, it looks cooler than the Extreme Driver. I really like the Jolt Driver, how it looks. They need to release more, like, uh, uh, recolors of the Jolt Driver. Like, I think this is the only colored version of the Jolt Driver that we have. Come on, how cool would it be if they gave us, like, an Excalibur color of the Jolt Driver? That'd look crazy. Alright, moving on to the next one. We have Shadow Amaterios Zero Extreme. And and of course, I broke my extreme dash. If you guys don't already know, see, it's right here. It's, it's really broken. It kind of sucks. The rubber just kind of flew off when I was battling it. Anyway, um, so we're just using a regular extreme. This extreme came off of Obelisk Odin. I really like Obelisk Odin's extreme. It looks really cool. All right, ready? Three, two, one, shoot. Three, two, one, shoot. Oh, okay, so, oh, sorry, move the camera. It was able to, like, get a stadium out on Shadow on Materials, although I feel like Orb Aegis wasn't really the cause of that stadium out. I think it was more of the extreme in my bad launch. I kind of launched it bad and just went straight into the pocket. Let's do another battle between these two. Ready? Three, two, one, two. Orb Aegis. Three, two, one, two. And I suck at launching extreme drivers. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just, I'm a horrible blader. I don't know what to say. You can, guys, you can make a Beyblade YouTube channel, upload it, like, ev upload a video every single day where you're just playing with Beyblades, and you still won't be able to launch an extreme driver in the stadium. At least a normal person, I guess, would. But I'm not a normal person. I'm, like, a disappointment to everyone. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go shoot. There's Orb Aegis. Three, two, one, go shoot. Orb Aegis. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm just relaunching it again. Three, two, one, shoot. Yes, there we go. I 
I finally was able to watch extreme like a like a, a decent launch or whatever. Anyways, yeah. Uh, earlier this, oh my goodness, Orb Aegis is just getting destroyed. It's not like Orb Aegis has really bad teeth. Orb Aegis's teeth are like really good. I think it's like the quest driver because what the quest driver does is it makes the Beyblade stay in one place. So like usually when a Beyblade hits you, you're able to like get some knockback and like kind of throw off the energy or like release the energy with the knockback but because orb aegis is just staying in one place it can't do that so it has to like i don't know do something with that energy and it makes it burst or something kinetic energy potential energy science and stuff whatever let's move on to the next beyblade we have the top two attack type beyblades in my opinion we got buster excalibur with the horrible des i probably shouldn't say it's a horrible design because there's probably like some little kid watching this who like really likes the design of buster excalibur and i'm just trashing and i'm sorry if you're that little kid and i'm trashing your favorite beyblade I i'm just not a big fan of its design i just do not like how it looks i think it looks really ugly compared to the other Excaliburs. That's just my opinion. And uh, uh, we also have Chosy Valkyrie, which of course is an amazing attack type Beyblade. I think it's my favorite attack type Chosy Beyblade so far. Probably my second favorite Chosy Bay. Uh, maybe even my second favorite Bay in general. I don't know. I just like its color scheme. It looks really nice and I like how it performs or whatever. But like, I don't know. I also really like uh, Tornado Wyvern. So it's like a tie. So like my first is of course Chosy Spriggan. And then my uh, second favorite Beyblade, it's like a tie between like Tornado Wyvern, Chosy Valkyrie. We'll see how it uh, turns out in a month. Maybe if I like really like Chosy Valkyrie, it'll be my second favorite Beyblade. Or like maybe I'm just like engulfed in the hype. And like in a month, I'll be like, oh, Chosy Valkyrie. I don't even like that Beyblade anymore. I'm usually like that. I'm usually over things really fast. Anyway, let's get this battle started. We got uh, Orb Aegis versus uh, Buster Excalibur. Ready? Three, two, one, two. Or of Aegis, 3, 2, 1, go, two. Buster Excalibur. Should I put the dagger frame on Buster Excalibur? You know what? No, we'll just we'll just stick with the stock combo. Oh my goodness, we'll just stick with the stock combo. Or of Aegis is just getting demolished by all these attack type drivers. And Or of Aegis is classified as a defense type Beyblade. And like defense types are supposed to be good <laughs> against attack types, but that's just not the case apparently, because all the attack types are like destroying Orb Aegis. Alright, we're gonna do one more battle between Orb Aegis and Buster Excalibur before I move on. Ready, three, two, three, two. Orb Aegis, 3, 2, 1, shoot. Buster Excalibur busting through with that sick attack. Oh my gosh, great nation for Orb Aegis. Oh, is Orb Aegis actually gonna win? Oh, Orb Aegis, <laughs> it barely won, it barely won. The thing about the quest driver is that it's a really tall driver, and because of the suction cup, it tilts a little bit, and it just scripts like crazy. Like, the battle's over. Like, all you gotta do, Orb Aegis is in the middle. I, I love the suction cup driver, the quest driver, because you can just, like... Plop in the middle of the stadium, it's great. All right, anyway, so uh, yeah, because it's like so tall in the suction cup driver or whatever, you like literally hit it once and it tilts, the battle's over. It's literally just gonna scrape and it's gonna be horrible. All right, moving on to the final Beyblade, we have Chosy Valkyrie. And my Chosy Valkyrie sticker is already falling off. Do you see that? It's already like falling off and it makes me really sad. I need to find a way to like tape the sticker back down without like you guys noticing the tape or whatever. I don't know. I feel like without the stickers, Valkyrie just does not look good. Good. Anyway, we're gonna do um, a few battles between these, the last two Beyblades. Ready? 3, 2, 1, shoot! Orb Aegis, 3, 2, 1, go, shoot! Chosy Valkyrie. Next time, I'm gonna try to launch Chosy Valkyrie at the, oh my, at the, um, whatchamacallit, as hard as I can, so I can do the Chosy gimmick. Let's see who's gonna win this battle. Is Orb Aegis actually gonna beat Chosy Valkyrie? No, that's what I thought. Alright, and also, the evolution tip, I still haven't worn it down. I've done like a billion battles with this bit. Not on camera, but off camera, I've been doing a bunch of battles with Chosy Valkyrie and like Chosy Spriggan. I don't know what it is about these two bays. I just really like versing the two. It's really awesome, but um, yeah, I've done a billion battles with it, and the evolution tip isn't wearing down at all. It's, it seems like this is gonna be like a lot harder to wear down than the variable tip. The variable tip is like so easy to wear down. Anyway, let's do a few more battles between these two. Ready, three, two, one, two. There's Orb Aegis with some amazing driver. There's Cozy Valkyrie. Let's see who's gonna win. I mean, oh, why am I saying let's see who's gonna win? It's obvious who's gonna win. Cozy Valkyrie's gonna win. Orb Aegis is gonna lose. That's just how it works here. 
All right, and the winner of this battle is, of course, Josie Valkyrie. The thing about Orb Aegis, though, when it loses, it loses in style, because it always loses either like a burst or it like scrapes. It's just like a flip or something. It's amazing. All right, we're gonna do one last battle between these two, and yeah, let's get this battle started. Ready? Last battle. Winner takes all, I guess. If Orb Aegis wins this battle, I guess Orb Aegis is better than all the attack types or something. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Shoot. There's Orb Aegis. Three, two, one. Shoot. Josie Valkyrie. Let's see who's gonna win. Josie Valkyrie getting some hard hits. Oh, is Josie Valkyrie gonna- Oh, I totally forgot to like launch Josie Valkyrie as hard as I can. So it's just a Josie gimmick. All right, Josie Valkyrie barely won that one though. That was kind of surprising. You know, we're gonna try that- we're, I'm gonna do one more battle just because I forgot to launch Josie Valkyrie as hard as I can. Because I really do want to use the Josie gimmick, even though it- I mean like, what's the- Point. I know a lot of people are getting mad because they're like, unburstable, that like, what's the point of Beyblade Burst if they can't burst anymore? But honestly, they don't, it, the unburstable gimmick, why do you even need it? Because Valkyrie has like, amazing teeth anyways. Never gonna get to that point where it's gonna need the unburstable gimmick. Anyway, so yeah, let's do one more battle. I'm gonna try to do the unburstable gimmick. Three, two, one, two. Alright, I'm gonna launch it as hard as I can. Three, two, one, go. Two. Alright, that was the hardest launch I can do. Let's see if the gimmick worked. I hope it Oh, and it bursted, it bursted Orb Ages. Orb Ages is just getting bursted left and right in this video. Anyway, so yeah, oh, I mean it kind of worked. The Chosy gimmick kind of worked. It worked for two wings, not the third one. Anyway, so the winner of this battle, I would say, are the attack types. Orb Ages just did not stand a chance. It just, I don't know, who did it? I think it lost to Vice Leopard. It lost to Winning Valkyrie. It lost to Bloody Longness. It lost Lost to Shadow on Materios, basically lost to Buster Excalibur, and of course lost to Chosy Spriggan. So for defense type, this thing can't really defend that well. Anyway, remember to rate, comment, subscribe if you guys want to see more videos with Orb Ages, because I do really like using this Beyblade, even though it sucks. It's really fun to use, and it's really fun to watch and whatever. So yeah, see you guys later. Have a nice day. Left first out.